All right, welcome back to Battle Brothers and uh, the March of the Moon Men, shall we say. Now, a uh, new update's been announced that's going to incorporate a wounds system. And so I'm going to kind of hold back on doing some too many recordings for now, because uh, I just don't want to get too far ahead of that update, and I'm really looking forward to it as well. But I did decide I would go in here and cover something that I think I've kind of... I talked about earlier on, but um, through the forums I've sort of discovered something I didn't realize. And so I'm just going to take a minute and explain one more time how combat works. So I did explain before, you have something called, uh, you know, the percentage of damage that ignores armor and then the effectiveness against armor. Now, this can be called direct damage. This 20% of damage ignores armor element. So uh, let's see, if your boar spear does 40 points of damage when you hit somebody, um, let's see, what's 20% of 40 would be, uh, what, 8 damage? 8 of that damage counts as direct damage. Now, what that means is it gets applied directly to hit points. Uh, and that follows along with what I explained before, whereas the remaining damage will get applied to the armor at 95% effectiveness. So let's see, 8, that would be 32, so whatever 95% uh, of 32 would be, I want to say that's uh, about 4 points, something somewhere around, you know, like uh, 28 or 29 points. I'm not going to grab a calculator to figure it out. However, here's where something I didn't explain comes in, which is that direct damage is further reduced by the durability of the armor, and that durability e equal to 10% of its durability. So again, let's say the boar spear hits uh, this leather lamellar armor, and at the time, this leather lamellar armor has 95 uh, durability points. Well, okay. So that 8%, or I mean, sorry, that 20% of 40 damage that became direct damage equal to 8 points of damage is going to be reduced by 10% of 95. Uh, if I understand correctly, that damage just evaporates. So obviously 10% uh, of 95 is going to be uh, 9.5. So basically, if I hit Christine Lamler Armor, with a boar spear for maximum damage, the battle brother is going to take, the, or the unit is going to take zero hit points of damage. Okay? And here's where things are a little bit vague. I am assuming this element right now. I'm assuming that it takes place in this order. Then, okay, so once that takes place, then the remaining 80% of the damage that um, does not ignore armor is multiplied by 0.95, or basically it's it's uh, reduced 5%, because only 95% of it works, and then that is applied to the armor. So then the armor would take, I don't know, 28 points of durability damage and be reduced. And then, obviously, since it has less than 95 durability points, the next time it takes a hit for, for example, 40 points of damage, then there's going to be some hit point damage that gets done. Now, you may be asking, well, what if uh, the leather lamellar armor is down to, like, you know, 10 points of durability, and it takes 40 points? Okay, again, this is where I'm giving my best explanation of my understanding of how things work. Okay? So, uh, again, we're going to have, at 40 points of damage, 8 points of damage goes directly to the Battle Brother. But we still have, what, 32 points of damage left over. Now, obviously, 32 damage is going to completely wipe out. Well, first of all, I'm assuming that because the armor has 10 durability at the time, that 8 points of damage gets reduced to 7 points of damage to hit points, all right? But we still have all this leftover damage being applied to the armor, right? 32 points, that's going to kill the remaining armor and put it down to 0 durability points. That's still going to leave, what, 20... Let's, let's say for the sake of argument... That's going to leave 28 or uh, 18 points of damage left. What happens to that damage? Does it just carry over to hit points? I don't believe so. I believe what happens is then... So remember, that remaining damage is currently at 95% of the original damage. I believe it gets returned to 100%. Now, if we're talking about this mathematically, that means that number is divided by 0.95. And the reason that's important, obviously, is because there's some weapons that do over 100% damage to uh, armor. I don't happen to have one, but like, you know, the Warhammer does 140% uh, of damage. So 
it obviously doesn't make sense if, you know, a Warhammer doesn't get divided by 1.4 to have its armor damage reduced down to what I would call hit point damage, right? So that's that's how I think of this, is that 25 to 35 is hit point damage. The little icon there shows the heart, right? And then that hit point damage, the amount that gets applied to armor is uh, modified into armor damage, and then if that armor damage exceeds the armor's remaining durability, it gets modified back to hit point damage. Okay. That's my whole spiel on how damage in this game works as I understand it, okay? Now, I hope that's clear. If uh, there are questions, um, <laughs> feel free to write in the comments. Uh, feel free to correct me if there's anything I'm still getting wrong. Uh, it is a little bit more complicated than I probably initially uh, indicated it was. So, that said, let's get back to business. Now, again, like I said, there's a uh, update coming soon. So we're, I'm not going to play too much Battle Brothers today, just because of that. Uh, now, the fat man, I am tempted to give him maybe... Wow, that is some... That's a heavy bit of armor there. That's, that's better than this. It's not necessarily better in that it has a bigger fatigue hit, but I'm going to give it to him. And then this should be even better, yeah. Okay, and there we go. Now, do I want to give you... I think he's going to be okay. Alright, now, I do not remember exactly where we left off. We have... So we still have our shorty, we still have our killer on the run, our squire, which I'm happy about, and a tailor now. I noticed that we have a wild man, and... I am gonna hire him. I thought we had a wild man, but maybe he died. I think he did. It's been it's been a few days. All right, and we got plenty of money, so hire him. We will. Oh, great! And he's has iron lungs. This is so good. Oh, I'm so happy to see that. All right, 80, 65. All right, we're gonna give him that helm. Give him a boar spear. Give him a shield. I'm going to keep you with this kind of sturdy armor, just because you don't have a shield. Um, I'm really tempted to give you a uh, sword at some point, too, but for now. Okay, 70, 65, 80. All right, I guess, I guess we'll go with this for now. Oh, we really don't have the tools for it, though. Honestly, this is going to give the best return on investment for armor until we get some tools to repair this stuff. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to give him a knife. Okay, our crossbowman, I think he looks fine. Um, oh, wow. He's got terrible range skill, though. Why did I make this guy a crossbowman? I don't even remember. Okay. Um, the fat man, I would like to get so he's not sick anymore, but... Oh, well. Okay. Anybody else? Ooh, yeah, I'd like to get him, but I just don't have the money now. Uh, hunters are really good range units. Um, the lumberjack would be good, mm, but expensive. Let's. Uh, hmm. What do we got here? You know, actually, I really want to take some wood and sell it somewhere. Anything else we need? Uh, let's buy some bandages because they're cheap. And the grains are also, you know, a good price, so we'll get those. Alright. I do want to get some tools. I'm pretty sure this contract is going to be for werewolves, but let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, bandits on the road. Watch a caravan. Alright. Give me more in advance. All right, let's hope this works out. Uh, before we do this, though, let's put our guys... There we go. I think that's going to be better for us. All right, off we go. <clears throat> now, our last caravan job was mm, a bit iffy. All we have are 
caravan hands. So yeah, there we go. Well, at least it's only one bandit marksman. Oh, this is nice. We're on high ground. Except those fools are rushing into combat. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Do we have a shot? Man, even though he doesn't have a good range skill at all, 45%, that's not bad. I think we're going to go for this guy just because these two guys on the flank might take the arrow instead. Nice. I, maybe I should have waited for these guys to advance a bit, but they will advance up to these guys, and then there's a chance I'll kill my own caravan hands. I mean, they're not my hands, but... Anyway. Oh. I see. Which of my guys has the... Okay, you're my newbie. I will go ahead and see if these guys can draw down. If I put up the spear wall, I'm, I'm almost positive they won't. Now, you. I'm going to switch you. Yeah. Let's get ready to net somebody. Whoops, oh, I almost passed. Okay, that was close. Okay, there's the... Okay, good. Yeah, these guys are waiting for the car... Yeah, and I know they're... Ah. Fools! What are you doing? Okay. I'm gonna wait. Hopefully this guy will start working on taking down those shields. Alright. Hmm. I'm going to go for this guy again. Actually, I'm going to wait. Now you... I'm going to net that guy. Okay. Move you in. Okay. Now the idea is I'm going to bill hook and pull that guy down. Now you. And have you go here, put up a spear wall. Okay, that's fine. Well, that was short lived. Hang on a sec. All right, this guy. One, two, three, four. He isn't going to be able to close with my archer if I go here, as far as I can tell. One, two, three. No. I, so I'm just putting my zone of control here. So he either has to close with me, which I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to be thrilled about, but still, um, I'd rather him close with this guy than my uh, archer. All right. Alright, it's obstructed. How about we move back and see if we can get a clear shot next turn. Alright, now you... Oh, 
Boy, I don't know. I think we're going to be okay down here. I think we're going to be okay. So let's get up here. And get ready to work on these two. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. It's good. That's what you should do. Except you're using a crappy ass hatchet, so. That is annoying. That was a head hit. That was a head hit. That was epic. That was... That's what happens, Larry, when you don't wear a helmet to combat. The killer on the run comes up and just bashes your brains in. I'm really disappointed that spear wall didn't push him back. Now, unfortunately, for AP, don't think that's going to give enough to uh, use his ability. No, six AP. That was lucky. Let's get this guy down. Or not. I'm gonna move up here. Interesting. This guy's going to be easier to hit. Oh, nice. Dude, seriously. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> That's my question is, why? Okay, we're going to go up and take care of this archer. You. That's what I'm talking about. Get him off that high ground. We have three. Are we going to be able to equip this? No, four. Okay. Okay. Let's keep moving in. There we go. Hopefully these guys will take that high ground for me. Oh, damn, I forgot about that. There we go. All right. Hmm. Let's just try to take a shot at this guy. Hmm. 
Oh, I can't believe that. Wow. Okay. Wow. You had some lucky strikes here, let me tell you. Alright, that guy has repost. Let's try knocking this guy off again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Are you out of bullets? No. Just need to reload. Oh, it's because you're out of movement. That's okay. Just move there. Oh, give me a break. Would you please bap this guy? You know, if you hit him on the head, that'd be awesome. So, guys, come on, don't do that. Don't be dumb. Nice. Come on. Alright, fine. Let's wait and get your stamina back. Alright, switch you over to a sword and shield. Come on. Seven percent, really. Well, okay then. We're gonna just get closer to this archer and wipe him out. Might as well take this shot. I could just get that guy knocked off. Ah, uh, all right. Oh man, you guys really really are terrible. Hmm. Okay. Man. Yeah, took care of him. Uh, come on. Oh my god. Should have just attacked him. Oh man. This is god awful. Finally. Now what's wrong with you? Got nine. Oh, you have no. F you're out of fatigue. Okay. Yeah, should just have been attacking him that whole time.
want you to wait. Oh, give me a break, man. Come on. Oh, I'm very annoyed by this. I have to say. Finally. But we are coming out bruised and we have no more meat shields. And we don't have a we don't have uh, tools to fix okay now we do. Good. An arming sword. Good. Okay. Alright. Not bad. And we can give our uh, wild man some better armor and not waste tools repairing that armor. And that is certainly a better helmet. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, how's our sword? 57%? Okay, I'm going to take that off and let you repair that one. And we don't have a net anymore. That's unfortunate. And really need you to get over that sickness. I don't know what I don't know how else to do it though. I kinda need you in the game, you know. Oh, you have a net. Okay, I'm gonna give that net up to this guy. Get that boar spear into play again. Alright. You seem to be okay. Yeah. You know what? You should probably have a little bit heavier helmets. Minus nine, minus seven. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. it. Does lower that, but. And you're my wild man. Alright. Ooh, you're ready for Colossus already. Okay, and we have some backup shields, that's good. Alright. There we go. Now, yeah, it may seem like kind of a short episode, but that's going to be it for today. It actually has, uh, it's a little longer just because I spent that time explaining what's going on. So anyway, well, we had one successful fight. How much farther have we got to go? Oh, we're almost there. Okay, how about this? How about we just get to our destination, then we'll quit the episode. Hopefully we'll get there in one piece. Not up for another fight, I'm afraid. Having reached Later's Guard, the caravan's wagons are immediately unloaded and their goods taken to the nearby warehouse. Once it's all cleared out, the leader of the group hands you a satchel of crowns and thanks you for making sure their passage was a safe one. Crowns well deserved. Alright. That is good stuff. Now... I think, like I said, we'll adjourn here for now, and I'll see you in the next episode. And I'm going to sell this right now, and buy these right now. Okay, so, ooh, that killed our money. What the heck? Huh. thought we got paid more money than that. Hmm. What did I just buy? Don't tell me I just bought wood. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Didn't I just sell them wood? What? Oh my goodness. Don't tell me I... Yeah, yeah. Sell the wood. I didn't sell it yet. I'm... Okay. What the heck? I thought I sold it. Alright. That's better. Hmm. Weird. Alright. Well... That is going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.